But on the subject of Tough Enough, though, I did want to talk about this. I mentioned it in the interview with Gabby, and it just blew my mind. It absolutely just blew my mind, the elimination of Patrick. Now, I talked about this a little bit on Facebook after the day after on Wednesday on the elimination of Patrick. It just blew my mind. I mean, this guy was a shoe in to win. I'm not just saying that just because he was a wrestling fan. The guy could talk. He knew how to bump. He's He is a wrestler. He had the passion, moreover, than anything else. And his elimination, and I know the fans voted him off. Don't give me that shit. Paige keeps on saying that. She could have saved him. She put him in the bottom three to begin with for not being humble, which is ludicrous. And I was talking to John about this on uh, Wednesday or Thursday about how Paige is probably the least humble person on that show, yet she's the one to call out Patrick for not being humble. And like Gabby said in the interview, they just pull out different clips of people being assholes anyway. I personally didn't think he was being a D-bag at all. You know, they just pulled a clip of him trying to motivate ZZ, and for the right reasons too. ZZ, while he is very likable, is a very, very long-term project. He cannot go in the ring at all. He cannot go in the ring at all. His cardio sucks. The people like him. I understand that. That's the reason why he keeps on surviving. Hence, why tonight um, I'm recording this right after Tough Enough. He got the most percentage of the votes. Although he did the worst on the show, he lost. Um, you know, he lost all the competitions. He has yet to win one. And Mata lost before him. Amanda would have gone home and had Miz not saved her. It's just this this show. I mean, I, I tried to give it a chance. And maybe I'm just more disappointed because I really wanted this to go well. Because I love the 2011 season. Like I talked about it in a uh, video blog a couple weeks ago on the YouTube channel. That I just really wanted this season to go well. Because that last season was so fucking good. You know, the Stone, not just only because Stone Cold was guest ho- or was the host. I think Jericho is good, but it's not even his fault that he's like an afterthought on the show. They they just don't give him enough. They don't give him enough TV exposure. He's just the guy that is just kind of the game show host. You know, now time back to American Idol. That's exactly what the show reminds me of, American Idol. And I liked that show in the first few seasons, but then I just grew sour on it because of the the bottom three in a popularity contest. I don't care how good this guy is. I just care if, if, if he's good looking, if he's likable, whatever. ZZ's got more charisma than anyone on that show, but it's not a reason to save him. It's just ridiculous. Patrick getting eliminated just blew my mind. He had all the tools to become the next WWE superstar. Now, maybe it's better off for him because the guys who win this show more often than not are not better off because of it. The only winner that that ever really went anywhere was John Morrison. Now, people like Cameron and Ryback, and all these other guys, and Miz, of course, how can I forget the Miz, were all taken off of Tough Enough and went on to become WWE superstars. Cameron is Cameron. <laughs> Ryback is the Intercontinental Champion, and Miz, a former WWE Champion, having having headlined WrestleMania 27, as he will always be uh, very, very, very happy to remind you of. So maybe it's better off for him. I'm sure he's going to get another tryout. Gabby got a tryout, as she said. She'll be in NXT in October, so if she can get a tryout, I'm sure Patrick will get a tryout as well, so I'm sure we'll be seeing him back in WWE very soon, but that elimination just made me, for the show, for me, it just made the show jump the shark. Um, I gave it chance after chance after chance to get better, I really hoped it would get better, and after people were shitting on the the format, I said, it's okay, you just gotta give it more time to enjoy it. And just that one elimination changed my thoughts on this entire show. I'm going to continue to watch because I have been tuning in since day one. I want to see who wins. At this point, there's not many uh, lucky prospects left. Mata's gone. Patrick's gone. Um, Gigi's still there. I'm, I'm sure she might either win or, or Sarah for the guys. I don't care, to be honest with you. There's Josh. There's ZZ. Um, Tanner is good. He's just very vanilla and he's very boring. But we'll see. I'm sure in in the weeks to come there will be plenty more to complain about when it comes to Tough Enough.